Yes, hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new Minotaur Zombie Let's Play of Thief Gold. This is a completely blind Let's Play. I've never played this game, uh, and I've never even really seen it. The only thing I've seen here is I, I did some test recordings to make sure that, uh, you know, try and get the gamma and audio right, and I rebound some keys. But besides that, I've never played this game. Uh, developed by Looking Glass Studios, which really gets me excited because I know it's going to be really good. It's the same guys who did the System Shock games. Um, I think they later uh, went on to be known as... Uh, crap. I can't remember now. But basically they, they continued on making like the Bioshock games and that kind of stuff. So, without further ado, we play on normal because this was back in the days when normal probably actually meant a fair decent challenge instead of easy mode. And we will do the training. <gasps> a keyhole. What lies it in there? kid. No parents, no home. Running messages and picking pockets to keep my ribs from meeting my spine. One night I saw a man. Folks just passed him by like he wasn't there. I thought he must have something valuable, so I snuck up on him and made a grab. <laughs> That's not for you. Please, sir, I'm hungry. Don't tell the hammers, I promise. What is your name, boy? Garrett. You have talent, lad. Let go of me, old man! To see a keeper is not an easy thing. Especially one who does not wish to be seen. We have a need for those as gifted as yourself. If you've grown tired of how you live, then follow me, and we will show you a different way. Leave me alone! As you wish. I caught up with him just before he vanished into the crowd. It was the beginning of a very long education. Alright, so, let's continue. Welcome, young Garrett. In the nearby rooms, I will instruct you in the various skills you will need to survive. Hooray! Please stay in the entrance area to each room while I explain the room's purpose. When you are ready to begin your lessons, proceed down this hallway to the first room. Down the ominous hallway right there? Oh, sure thing. So yeah, I'm just gonna make a quick save here. And I'll be right back. I'm just going to make sure the video is recording all right. And we're back. All right, everything seems to be going fine. Um, so yeah, in case you guys couldn't tell, this is a first-person stealth game. That's about all I really know. You must learn how to move unseen. Stay in the that shadows. Sounds good. Avoid the light. The indicator on your screen will tell you how visible you are. Try to reach the top of the platform without being seen. By that goon? I see you there, lad. I Try see again. you. Remember, oh. stay out of the well-lit areas until you reach the platform. Alright. Now, my assumption is, just so everyone is aware, this is a very dark game, and when the recording comes out, it comes out a little darker. I've kind of cranked the gamma up to adjust for that, but let me know what you guys think. Should the gamma be... Do I need to turn the brightness up more, less? Is it is it too bright now? Um, also on the audio, should should uh, my voice be louder or should uh, the game voices be louder? Let me know. Well done. I did not see you approach. Well, that's Open good. Open this door to continue. When yeah. the door is near the center of your screen, it will light up, What's... indicating that it is selected. Oh, it's to not Manipulate e? selected doors and other objects. Use them. Use the door. That's an awesome door. Good. Proceed down this corridor wall. for your next test. A map. Ooh. Now you must learn to move <coughs> quietly. Some surfaces are louder than others when walked upon, and moving quickly makes more noise than moving slowly. Makes sense. Listen to your own footsteps to hear how much noise you are making. The instructor will have his back turned. You must get to the top of the platform without being heard. Alright. I hear no sound. 
Still hear no sound. I'm guessing these metal-looking tiles would make lots of sound. Let's just test. I could hear that. Yep. Yeah, Try he again. could hear that. I could Remember, hear that. Walk on quiet Let's surfaces jump over it. and move slowly. Ha, 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 ha. Very good. I did not hear you traverse the room. Well, that is good. Uh, I'm just stretching. Is a hallway that will lead you to your next task. Hey, whoa, whoa. The fuck? Where'd that guy go? Yeah. Now get your weapons. <gasps> to pick up objects, select them by centering them on screen until they light up. Then use them. Then use them. Choose your weapon now. Try readying your sword and then your bow. You can always put them away again if you need your hands free. Now let's go out to the courtyard for some target practice. Ready your bow. Knock an arrow and draw back the string by holding down the attack button. Make sure you draw all the way back, oh. or your shot will not have full power. Take aim, and when you are ready to shoot, release <laughs> your attack. What is this targeting See if you ridicule? can hit one of these targets. Should it be in the middle? Okay, pretty much. I didn't know they had, like, fucking sights on bows and arrows back in the day. Yeah. Do I need to, like, headshot him instead of the target? Suck it! All right, did I did I complete the task? Well, that's locked. All that's over here is whistling, man. Oh, they probably mean this target. Okay, never mind. I assumed that. Zoom. Good shot. Keep practicing if you wish. When you are ready to proceed, approach the training gun. Oh my God! Your sword. It's pathetic. Pathetic shot. Swing at the target with the attack button. A quick tap will give you a slash. Move the tip of your sword to the left of the target for a left slash, and to the right of the target for a right slash. Hold oh, the attack button down, then release for an overhead swing. <coughs> Try both slashes and the overhead swing on the practice dummy. Good job. You're I ready beat him into the opponent. fucking ground. To practice against your partner, enter the cobbled sparring area. Oh, this guy wants to go. Let's go. Oh my god, this is so System Shock 2 swings. Mouse, what's mouse 3 for me? I don't know. Oh god. Ha! I got you now! Well done. Keep sparring if you wish. When you are done, you leave the sparring area. Man, this guy's... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to actually hurt you there. Uh, put away. Hey, well, well, we're done here. We're done. There's no need. Okay. Well, that's enough sparring. For yeah, today. that's enough sparring. Leave me alone. The table. All right. <laughs> I wanted to beat the shit out of me. Okay. One more quick thing to make sure everything's recording fine. Be right back. Okay. All right, and we're back. The crazed, murderous man trying to kill us. Um, hidden wall. Okay, maybe. Well, oh, he's gonna try and kill me again, isn't he? Please don't try and kill me. I'm warning you. Okay, seems to be fine now. Use him. Okay, he doesn't want to be used. Did I go in the wrong area? I guess that's just kind of his hidey hole. They just keep him there at all times. What? Okay. I think I'm missing something. I'm guessing the little shield cross sign is my health. Oh. Am I... Am I supposed to hit, like, one of the smaller targets? <sighs> the worst shot of all time. Oh, wait. Would you care for some refreshment before we move on, young Garrett? 
Why yes, thank Please you. Pick up all of the items parched. on this table. Cycle through your inventory to see the objects you have in your pockets. Once an object is displayed, you may use it. Have something to eat if you wish. Then you may proceed. I can I, like, the next nom test right is now? waiting on the other side of the metal door. Um, nom nom. How do I use? Use. Oh, okay. Compass. The door is locked, but the key from the table will open it. To unlock the door, select the key in your inventory. Center the door on screen until it lights up. Then use the key on the door. Good. Now head down this hallway to get Hooray. to the next test. This is gonna be something tells me this is gonna be, this inventory system is gonna be slightly clunky. Now you will learn new movement skills. Ooh. First, climb the rope by jumping onto it. Yeah. Move while looking up or down to climb up or down the rope. Turn to change your facing. If you jump again, nice. you will release the rope. That isn't too bad, now actually. climb the rope to get to the top of the platform. Well done. Run and jump across the gap to the other side of the stream. Yeah. Good jump. Good jump. This obstacle is easy to climb if you know how. First, move close <laughs> to the wall. You know how to climb. Next, jump to grab the edge of the wall and pull yourself up. Do you know how to climb, Garrett? Good job. I am most pleased with your progress. I am most you pleased you can climb it just I will. For today. If you wish, you may stay to practice your climbing and jumping, <sighs> or swimming, ducking, leaning, or crawling. When you are finished, you may return to your chambers by going through that red door. Farewell. I think I'm... I think I'm ready, actually. I think I know how to climb over things. The keepers were training me to be one of them. But I found other uses for those skills. Like stealing things, like potted plants. And... Oh. And mission completes. Stats. It took me eight minutes to climb things. I have a simple job planned for this evening. Break into a guarded mansion, steal another fat nobleman's priceless trinket, and leave quietly. Lord Bafford is out of town, and rumor has it that the captain of his house guard went with him as a bodyguard. The time is ripe for a bit of burglary. The front gate of Lord Bafford's manor is always guarded, and the main street is far too exposed. But Cuddy tells me there's a better way in. Around to the side, more out of the way. One guard, and likely no witnesses to complicate matters. The piece Cuddy wants is a scepter. Silver, jewels, the usual adornments. It should command a high price. Bafford, like most of his kind, probably keeps his treasures on the top floor of the place, close to his heart, and far from his servants. No point in waiting. I have Cuddy's old sketches of the place, and everyone who's going to be asleep inside already is. It's time to begin. <coughs> All right, stealing from rich dudes. Let's do it. So we gotta encase the place. Case. Okay. Black. What the fuck is blackjacking? We're gonna sit down and play cards? Then redistribute it to yourself. <coughs> Alright, let's do it. Ooh! Oh, you can actually buy things in this game. What the fuck's a water arrow? And... 
Interesting. Okay. Thirty-six arrows. Okay, a blackjack. Knock out an unsuspecting target with a little noise and no blow. Oh, okay. <coughs> so it's just like it just like club to club them over the head, apparently. Uh, yeah, I don't think I need to buy anything. There might be better things later on to buy, so. Oh. Well, first things first. I'm gonna do my best to uh, not save scum as much as possible in this game. Alright, well, I'm already hating how much light there is here. Oh. Hey, I'm going to the bear pit tomorrow. You want to come with? <laughs> Couldn't pay me enough. Yeah. Man, you soft belly. The bears have got these new muzzles with underslung cheek spikes. <laughs> Last time I was there, there was a real eye gouge. <laughs> nah, nah. Ah. That makes me sick. When I was a kid. Huh. Surprised you're even in this job. Ooh, the blood it just turned my poor tummy. <laughs> Shut up, you taffer. You want blood? You should have been there years ago. Oh god. I tell you, the bears then. They All I wanted to do was listen to their conversation. Those bears, they didn't need no cheek spikes and razor collars. Okay. Open. He's coming. Please don't tell me he's coming this way. Crouch. How clubby? What's my clubbing weapon? Okay, it's two. That's why I can't stand the pits now. You don't know what you missed. They just don't make bears like they used to. Yeah. Killer bears. I like to see that. Killer bears? Killer bears would be pretty cool. Okay, so I want to go around the side, I think you said. Mm, you're getting no pressure or electricity, sir. Whatever that means. You should get that figured out. Is that a water fountain up there? It's a pretty fucking cool water fountain if it is. Okay. My god, these streets are confusing. Is this like an open world game or something? Let's look at the map. Okay. Front entrance. Heavily guarded. Yes, there was a lot of dudes there. Interior patrols. Do not try frontal assault. Make sure to pick up the eggs and milk on the way home. One guard. Leads to a basement waterway. Okay. I think... Is this trying to tell me... Ooh, I can make little notes. Notes. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, so it's blue mean that that's where I'm at, which means... Oh! God. You can't see me, I'm invisible. Oh, God. Uh... Oh. Clubbing time! <laughs> yes! I'm gonna have fun with this. Can I lose? Oh. Let's hide you in the darkness. Is that my one? That was my one guard. <coughs> well, would this be my underground entrance? I believe so. Okay, I doubt they'd put any guards down here, so I don't, sh don't think I'd need to worry. Switch. Who wouldn't press it? Hooray. Probably unnecessary to go back here. I think this is kind of the opposite direction where I need to go. Oh, there's a couple different entrances to down here. Probably didn't need to club out that guard. Whoops. Oh well. Sometimes you just gotta club goons. Okay, we gotta do this very quietly. 
You know, I played, like, a lot of the Splinter Cell games, and I really liked those, but I kind of like this, too. It's a lot harder to figure out where everyone's at when, uh, when it's first person like this. A bottle. Tests must be made here, guys. I would like to use the bottle. Tab to it. Oh! You are unfazed by a bottle? You deserve to be clubbed. Drunk man. You have a key. At least I saw a key there. There's a dark spot, dark area I can hide you. Oh, this looks dark and... Okay, take the key. Yes. Yep. Okay, I don't need the blackjack out anymore. Alright. Ah! Man, these are some really good bottles. They don't fucking break at all. Oh, that was probably the one drunk guard. Okay. <gasps> was this a mistake? Okay. No, we're fine. Okay, that was close. <coughs> I was really worried there for a second. I was like, clearly there'll be a ladder or something down here. Sewer, sewer surfing. We can go that way, or we can go down here. To a secret looking area. Probably drown ourselves. Nope. It's a good thing people stash these barrels. Oh god, giant spider. I've at you, giant spider. Oh, I can't. I can't swim when I'm in the water. Ah! You shall not bite me. It's trying to bite me. Going to town on these spiders with a sword. Oh, the spiders don't drown. Okay. The most dangerous this thing that awaits Garrett. Might as well pick up something for myself. Yeah, you might as well, but I don't see anything in there. The most dangerous thing Garrett fights. Giant spiders. The most dangerous of foes. Do they can I loot the spiders? No. Did I actually get anything? I don't think I did. Okay. What about the barrels? No. <sighs> Alright. I guess this is just a train tutorial on how to kill the vile spider menace. Oh shit, I've completely f lost. Okay, which way was I supposed to be going in here? Um, let's say this way. <coughs> this is probably the right way, right? Makes sense. This isn't the right way, is it? Oh, wait! No, this looks good. Someone already blew a hole in here for me. That's very convenient. Oh, you can climb up there, Garrett. You can do it. Ah. Inside at last. What did he say? It's... Oh. I thought there'd be something in these dangerous-looking barrels with skulls and crossbones on them, but... Apparently not. Take that box. Yeah, physics. 1998 physics. I think that's when this game came out. Yeah. The sir can really beef up security, so show yourself. Probably shouldn't have thrown the box. Really shouldn't have thrown the box. How about you? Guard! Guard! Right there, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to throw a box. I really didn't mean to. Uh, over here! Ah, no, don't come on. Uh, Everything's fine. Can I hide you in barrels? Mm. Go over here. No one. There. Ah. Everything's going horribly wrong now. Okay. That 
it's alright. Sometimes goons need to be killed. What is this? A shovel! I gotta figure out how to just drop that stuff without throwing it violently. Damn, these levels are quite large. Who the hell has all these empty rooms? Who commissioned this building to be built this way? Okay, I'm just going in circles now. Oh. That's a bad floor. That's, that's a loud floor. Why is there never anything in here? Okay, just just drop it. Just don't throw violently. Eh. Eh. Okay, well, I will have to figure that out. Is that fruit? Compass, apple, a flash bomb. Didn't say I had that in my inventory earlier. Let's leave the compass out. Is the red south or north? Damn it! So I, w I will save occasionally, just because it doesn't. This game doesn't seem to auto save at all. So. If I die horribly right now, it's like, repeat the last, like, 15 minutes. Who has all these chests with... Oh. There was a vase in that one? What, can I drop it? Ah! No one heard that. Okay. <laughs> I really gotta figure out how to drop things. Oh. I think those are sleeping dudes. We'll just let them sleep. <laughs> um... Not that way. I, I, I don't... I don't really particularly want to club out the servants. I mean, I will if I have to, but... They'll probably scream. that way. We're looking for some stairs to go to the top floor. Shit. No one heard that wooden bowl, right? Oh, here we go. This looks new and exciting. Less new and exciting. I have no idea where I'm at anymore. I'm so fucking lost. I'm in the interior courtyard. Wait, to the second floor is over here. And over here. Why the fuck am I here? This seems like a mistake. Unless I want to seriously fuck up this guy's pool. Ah! Die. 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 My bad. You didn't need to die, but you got- you scared me. I'm trying to do it stealthy, I promise. Oh shit, they, I bet if they walk across the blood, they get 
get all pissy. Okay. Let this be to the second floor. Okay. Stop it once and put. No, I, I'm sorry. I thought no one was in here anymore. It's a good thing these guards suck. Why did you have to come over here? It's gonna be an awful lot of blood to clean up here later. Glad I don't know the janitors. Okay, just take me to the second floor. Go up. Yep. Okay. Okay. God damn it, doors. watching that. Where are the fucking stairs to this place? I don't think it's this. Wait. Oh, sick painting. I think I just took some bread. Was that a good thing to grab? It made a jingly noise. What about this then? Ooh, jingly noise. Okay, I think that that means that means we're supposed to take those. Um, what's that noise? Yes, we're on the way. Ooh, darkness. This looks good. This looks promising. Oh, yes. We might even be on, like, the third floor. Wolfenstein's Secret Passage? Damn it. Okay, did I go too high up? They're saying it's on the top floor, but I don't see anything else up here. Unless I wanted to dive into that pool, which would be pretty cool. But then I'm pretty sure someone would see me. We're looking to get onto that second floor. I believe this would be like a third. So this maybe this floor. But never mind. Wait a second. Babes shooting energy balls, and you're just standing in the middle in a speedo. That's a pretty awesome painting. Okay, no, I thought it might have been a jingly noise. Okay, I think we're alright. I Hopefully by next set I figure out how to not violently throw everything to get rid of it. Oh. I thought that was like a secret thing, but apparently it's just the same goblet as before. Um. What about the... Nope. Oh, that's glitch. Does this key I have work? No. No. 
I think we're gonna have to club a guard. Antiques from Bowden contain several items which we felt might be of interest to you. Descriptions follow, but you are welcome to drop by our shop to examine them. Or our other goods, in person. A sweet, sweet scepter adorned with all the jewels that a pimp would love. Mmm. It's finest, the finest pimp staff we have seen. Treasure box. Alright, I'm guessing he took the sweet pimp staff and put it in the treasure box. Okay. Escape? Okay. So we're looking for a treasure box. I probably could have guessed that. Wait, what was... okay. A papyrus! Use! Speakeasy sells Ginny, did you bid? Speak, see, so... I don't know what that means. Drekbon, the hammer, hearts, ha, ben a foot. I don't, what the fuck is this? Alright. That was a good papyrus. Papyrus. Um, da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. you didn't see that door open. You... Okay. No. Alright. I don't know why they came down here, but they came down here. He's walking right this way. Right this way. Have to get my swinging stick out. <clears throat> Hello? Is someone there? <clears throat> no, oh come on, I totally clubbed you! Why are you doing this to me? Uh oh, the sword clash probably will check the other one. Uh -huh. You're screaming, I'm screaming. I don't know why you're screaming. No, probably because you're dying, but... I don't know where that other guy went, but... Hopefully he didn't hear anything. You know, the epic battle that was just waged, he doesn't seem to be too... bothered by it. I totally clubbed that guy, by the way. I don't... that's bullshit. Where is my super key? Just... No. There we go. Something there. Hmm. Noise stopped. Guess it was nothing. Yeah, it was nothing. <clears throat> you are completely right about that. What about this way? Is this way safer? feeling it's not any safer, but... Hey, what was that? Nothing! Just the wind, I guess. Okay. How'd that... 
maybe this is time for a water arrow? Switch arrow type. Alright, we are taking a trip into the controls. Speed target block. Drop item is R. Fair enough. Oh, okay, it's just a different. <laughs> this man seems unfazed. <laughs> it's suddenly darker, but I just don't really care. I heard something. No, you didn't. Oh, you can't see me. This Don't is dark. Think you can hide for long. Oh god. Drop Sorry. that weapon. God damn it. No, that gong was a, an alarm. Get away from that gong. Get away from that gong, sir. <laughs> Was a pretty shitty gong. All right, I guess the gong they don't care too much about. Wow, that guy really fucking stabbed the shit out of me. <laughs> it's a throne room. How pretentious can you get? Yeah. Wait, this isn't where the scepter's at? <gasps> the scepter. Here we go. Now I just have to get out of here. Oh, never mind. Mission complete! Only several fuck ups. Yeah! The stats. I don't even remember. I remember only knocking out one dude, but. Oh, wait, no, I remember knocking out two. I didn't kill any innocents, at least. That was nice of me. place to deliver the scepter, but Cuddy wasn't there. He'd been arrested by the Hammerites. Apparently they didn't approve of his occupation, and I doubt they approve of mine. So hopefully they'll never catch sight of me when I break him out of their prison. Which is what I'm going to do. Ooh, They're holding like Cuddy in a mining complex carved out of a quarry. The quarry's flooded, but the hammers still work the top-level mines, and have converted part of the complex into a penitentiary for those who violate their tenants. An associate of mine was confined there and has provided me with a map. It would be difficult to get in by way of the main gate, but there is another option. The mines break the surface of a hill south of the quarry. I'll drop into the mines and head for the prison, which will be found somewhere uphill and to the north. The hammers don't venture into these lower mine levels because they're reputed to be haunted. I'd rather not have to do this job, but Cuddy's a reliable fence and I don't appreciate the Hammerites abducting him. And he owes me money for the Bafford job. <laughs> Mostly it's about the money. Your map doesn't show the way through the mines. Alright. A hot tip. View world place. Oh, okay, I can buy hints. We have tips and hot tips. A speed potion. 
A noisemaker arrow. We'll buy a tip. The hot tip is a little pricey. Um, I guess I use it when I win. Alright. Well, anyway. This is the end of the first set. Don't worry, guys. I will... We will still finish up XCOM. But, uh, we need more names first. So, if you could... Uh, if you're interested, we need more names... How XCOM has been working is you submit a name, the other people watching submit names, and then I name the soldiers after them, and we're at the final mission. So, if you're interested, go ahead and leave a comment, and uh, I'll put you in basically our next set of XCOM, which will be the final mission. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this set of Thief. I certainly enjoyed it. This is a really fun game, actually. And, uh, yeah, if, if anything should be changed for next time, it's too bright, too dark, uh, or the audio... Uh, just let me know. But until next time, this has been Minotaur Zombie, guys. And thanks for watching.